Deadline here. We're about to show you how to install SIDS in an Ultimate 64. Okay, so we're looking at the Ultimate 64, and what we're going to do today is install SID chips into the actual board. I've got an 8580R5 and I've got a swin SID. We're going to try that out. So the first thing we got to do is take it apart. All right, and so I'm looking at the manual here for the Ultimate 64, and it says if we're using 8580 chips, then the P1 and P2 need to be set, or the jumper needs to remain on there. So we already got that set. And also for the 8580, the filter select jumpers also need to be Put on and not changed. This is my configuration to begin with. As you can see, all the jumpers are in place and it looks the same as the diagram for both SID 1 and SID 2. And that's what we're going to use. In SID 1, we're going to put the 8580. Let's see here. I've got an 8580 R5, and there's the SwinSid version 0.2. Boom. 8580 R5 put in and boom what do we got in here just to make sure it's set right so the jumper on the top says 8580 so I move the jumper up to 8580 and so hopefully that'll work So far, so good. Settings menu. Sit in socket one, 8580. Sit in socket two, 8580. Sit in socket one address, D400. And let's go to, let's move this guy to D420. Okay, why don't we try out a demo now? Okay, let's try changing our second SID to be address D500, and this should let us play those music files that have multiple SIDs. 
Finish up by playing Homeward Ride by Flex, one of my favorite artists.